Good morning, third grade Bobcats. It's Miss Douglas, and this is my son, Reed. And we're here to do your morning meeting. It is Friday, May the 1st, 2020, and we are excited to be sharing morning meeting with you uh, this morning. So just do a quick greeting with anybody who's in the room with you. So I'm going to give Reed an elbow bump. Good morning, Reed. Good morning, Miss Douglas. Oh, Miss Douglas. Okay, good morning, Miss Douglas. Boys and girls, go ahead and give somebody an elbow bump in your uh, house right now. Tell them good morning. If nobody's there with you, you can say good morning to me. Good morning. All right, for our share today, we're going to share our favorite number. You guys know that I used to teach math. I love math. So my favorite number is 12. And that is for a couple different reasons. Um, one is that that was the number of my jersey when I played basketball and soccer. Um, it's also the number day of my birthday, July the 12th. And when Reed and Gray were born, I have twins. Reed's uh, twin is not with us this morning. Um, but their number birthday is also 12. They're January the 12th. So that's the reason why 12 is my favorite number. So we're going to share that today. You can share with me on Seesaw. If you post in your homeroom, I will be able to see that. What your favorite number is and why. Reed, what's your favorite number and why? My favorite number is 23 because Kristen Press's number is 23 and she plays for the USA Women's National Team, soccer team. We're big fans of the U.S. Women's National Team here in the Douglas household. All right, so make sure to share with me today on Seesaw. Let me know your favorite number and why it is your favorite number. You can record a video for me or you can type it in Seesaw. I'd love to see that and I will respond to you in Seesaw. All right, moving on to our activity today. We've got some number puzzlers today. So I'm going to go through it with you and then I'm going to go through it with Reed so he can uh, show you how it's done. And then um, we'll try it a couple times. So first thing is we pick a number, 1 through 10. You got to remember that that's your number. So go ahead, pick your number. Okay, don't forget it. Tell yourself again, what's your number? Okay, next step. You are going to multiply by two, so times two. So whatever your number was, multiply it by two. Okay, now you're gonna add 10. All right little harder you're going to divide by two so remember when we divide by two you're splitting it in half so think of what is half of your number that you have right now okay now you are going to subtract your original number your first number up here all right the answer is i know what it is but we're going to go through it with read um, and you can do it again too. Okay, so read. Pick a number one through 10. Got it. Okay, why don't we tell them so you can be an example. What's your number? Three. Okay, multiply it by two. Six. Okay, add 10. 16. Divide it by two. Eight. Okay, then subtract your original number. Five. And I've got your answer written down here. So you said your answer was five? Mm -hmm. The answer is five. <gasps> what? All right. So boys and girls, I want you to pick another number. Let's do it one more time together. So pick a number one through 10. That's your number. Don't forget it. Multiply it by two. Add 10. Divide by two. Put it in half. Okay, subtract your original number. And your answer is? Give us a drum roll read. Five. Isn't that cool? So that's our activity for today. You can try that with an adult in your house. Um, I will try to send those uh, steps to your teacher so that they can put it up there so you can try that later. All right, Reed wanted to share another activity with you today, so I'm going to let him do that. I'm going to turn it over to Reed. It's a quick drawing activity that you could do at your house. Okay. Reed, I'm going to hold this. You can teach it to them. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to write boy and then make a boy out of it. So you can't write it uppercase. You have to write it lowercase. 
So lowercase b. Uh, y. And then you connect the chain. We're going to zoom in a little bit. You put the hairline right here. And then you can make any hair you want. I like spiky hair, so that's what I'm going to do. You make the big pupils. And then you can make... A smile. Very good. So that is how you make a boy by writing the word boy. We'll do that one more time because I know I wasn't very zoomed in. So let's try that again, Reed. Okay. Lower case. So connect the chin. Then make the hairline. Then do any type of hair you want. Make the eyes. And then make a smile. Can this boy have a nose? Yeah. All right, guys, so that's another quick activity you can do today. Again, if you want to upload a picture for me and Reed and uh, Seesaw, you can do that. We'd love to see you make a boy after writing the word boy. All right, guys, the last thing we're going to do today is our physical activity. So Reed and I are going to do, we're going to show you how to do a plank. And uh, Reed and I were doing a challenge earlier in um, our, during our time off, and we got up to three and a half minutes. Then we honest, oh, we did four? Oh, we got to four minutes. We were trying to get to five. It was a little boring, so we stopped. But your challenge today is to see how long you can hold a plank. So we're gonna show you how to do that. Give us just a second while we reposition our camera. And we're just gonna show you how to do it. We're not gonna keep you very long. So you're gonna get down like you're doing a push up, except you're gonna get on your elbows. And then you have to lift your knees put your, up. And put your feet back. And keep your back straight. And just hold that. We're going to hold for 15 seconds, Reed. Sure. Maybe 12. It's my favorite number. Okay, you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Another way to do a plank is you can get up in kind of like a push-up position. It's the same thing. You just have your arm straight and then you hold it. All right, guys. So try that for today. See how long you can hold that plank. Uh, Reed and I hope you have a great day. And we certainly miss you. And we cannot wait to see you. I can't wait to see you. Reed doesn't get to see you very often because he's a walker wolverine. Um, hopefully we get to see you soon. We love you so much. Have a great day.